Hi, I would like to talk about BRCA testing. Whether or not to do it is a question you hear survivors talk about all the time. It's a very personal choice. To come up with the right choice for yourself, I would suggest asking yourself first certain questions. And for anyone who might not know exactly what BRCA testing is or BRCA mutation is, it is a genetic mutation that would almost guarantee a woman the likelihood that she would get breast or ovarian cancer. Um, not to scare anyone, um, there are, first of all, maybe one in 300 to 500 women have it, and those who do, there's something they can do about it, but because some of us are at higher risk, these are the questions you have to ask to decide if you want to take the test or not. First of all, if you have already had cancer, how old were you? If you were younger, your chances of getting a cancer, a first or second one or higher, is there a lot of breast or ovarian cancer in your family? Another question I would ask is Ashkenazi Jew or African American? These are high risk factors. Ask yourself the other risk factors. Have you, are you triple negative? Breast cancer. These are all the clinical or medical questions. The easy ones in that there are very objective answers. Now come the harder ones. The more personal questions. Um, what will you do the, with the information once you have it? For some people, especially if they've already had cancer, it's like TMI. They just don't need to or want to hear more. Other women want to know everything and anything. It's to them almost like more ammunition, more, more in their corner to make the better choice for their uh, best outcomes. Do you have daughters? Because they will be at high risk if by chance you yourself carry the genetic mutation. Do you want to be able to let them know? Do you want to let your family know? Next, I would ask, are you ready to jump clinical hoops? Uh, if by chance you need to have this test or decide you need to have this test, um, you may have a little bit of a battle with your insurance company. Sometimes this can be resolved with your doctor's help. Um, otherwise, there's the possibility that you may have to pay for it yourself and or go do the research to find someone to help you pay for it. Um, and next, what if by chance you find out you do have the mutation, which again is not common, though some women are higher risk than others. What, what next? Are you willing to go through continual screening? Are you willing to go through surgeries? For some, that's a lot more security. For others, it's just, again, a little too much. So you decide for yourself. This is your life, your body your choice. I would conclude with um, a few more recommendations once you've answered these questions to yourself. Talk to a genetic counselor. They can tell you more um, about BRCA and specifically in your case and you're not necessarily um, committed to go through the testing after having this conversation. And as important, if not more so, talk to other women. Find out what decisions they made and why they make them and then you do what sits best with you. Hi, my name is Rachel Pappas. I am a breast cancer survivor as of September 2009. I blog, so you can go and find me at www.oneuponcancer.com with the digit one. You can also find me on Twitter under Rachel Pappas and on Facebook. I'm the Rachel Pappas with the cat. There's a few of us.